Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Pierce Dispatch. I'm here with Chris Medlock, the product manager of Clear Sky Intelligence. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, let's dive right into it. I want to learn all about Clear Sky Intelligence and tell everybody about it. So if you could just start out and tell me about what is Clear Sky Intelligence and how does it go into Command Zone? Okay. All right. If it's simpler, we can start with Command Zone. Yeah, so Command Zone is a multiplexed electrical system. So instead of having point-to-point hard wiring in a truck, Command Zone is more like what you'd see in like your normal everyday passenger vehicles where it's sending data bus signals between modules within the vehicle to activate all the systems. Command Zone is just the Pierce proprietary version of that that was built for the fire service for fire apparatus. And what we do with that, Clear Sky kind of comes in and what it does is it reads off of those data buses to gather performance data about the truck and then sends it to a back office website so that the users of the fire apparatus can do many, many, many things with it. They can generate reports, they can generate alerts if they want to know if the truck has a high soot load, if they want to know when the truck has low fuel, low def fluid, they want to see faults that are coming off the truck. We're just kind of trying to connect the truck itself with the user more directly and do that in much more real time just to try to head off any catastrophic failures that might occur and improve uptime of the vehicle. So, Absolutely. And <laughs> what are some of the benefits of Clear Sky Intelligence? I think really what it comes down to is ClearSky itself is more built around the fire apparatus. So there's a lot of telematic solutions that are out there that people put into fire and emergency vehicles, um, but they're not really built for the fire service. They really come from over-the-road applications uh, with semi-trucks or large fleets, delivery fleets, for example. Really where we try to focus in on is how is a fire department going to use the data? What are the unique things that, that make it a fire truck, right? So your aerial device, your suppression systems, other systems on the truck, things that firefighters are going to want to see just to make sure that that truck is ready to go when it needs to go and to try to keep it in service as long as possible. It is a capital investment on the behalf of the community or the fire department. They carry a cost to maintain and service over the years. So being able to have that data and being able to see when a potential issue is coming up is critically important. I think one of the other benefits of Clear Sky is that dealers have access to it. So a lot of users fire departments that coordinate with their dealer to provide service on the truck, they have access to it. So when there is an issue with the truck, the dealer would be able to go in and see what those faults are. And they can address that with the fire department over the phone. They can triage that. And it doesn't just have to be dealer service, could be their local service technicians as well. But it provides the ability to triage what the issue is and really see if the truck needs to be taken out of service. If it is a really critical fault, it's something that's going to sideline the truck from being able to respond. Or if it's something that maybe they can defer, maybe it's something that's not as significant that they can wait until the unit gets back to the station. Maybe they can wait until the next preventative maintenance visit. But that I think is a lot of the power in having that fault notification and being able to log those faults to be able to look at trends and where the truck might be trying to tell you, hey, I've got an issue. It's coming. It's coming. You know, we, we've got a problem here. You'll be able to see those things and anticipate them before they happen. And again, that's something for budget planning. That's something for operational planning, just keeping the truck up and running. But in addition to that, I think there's a lot of value in, in again, down the line, being able to connect the data that's in Clear Sky with your records management systems, with your fleet management systems. That's really where all of this comes together and you have a single interface to access the data and make it something useful as opposed to independently looking at six different things, which is what you kind of have to do right now. Yeah. Some of the other benefits of Clear Sky include customized reporting. So there are basic usage reports you can get as the data aggregates from the truck. Um, you can set that up to subscribe basically that it will be in your inbox in PDF or Excel format if you want to see it Monday mornings at six o'clock. If you want to see it every day at the end of shift, if you want to see it on a certain date, you can set that up and you can actually choose which data you get from the trucks. And again, it's not maybe one truck or it may be the entire fleet, uh, but you can have those customized reports come right to your inbox. In addition, we do have geofencing capability, which is basically creating an electronic perimeter either around a station, around a first end district, around the entirety of a jurisdiction, around the shops some departments are interested in. And it creates uh, date and time stamps for when the apparatus goes in and out of that location. So you're able to track where the truck is going. When you look at a shop, how much uptime, downtime has it been? How long has it been in the shop? How many times has it been to the shop this year, potentially? And then, like I say, just kind of getting down to the minute and the second of when that truck actually went out of its response district 
You can set it up with notifications to receive when the truck's coming in and out of the geofence. So maybe the truck went mutual aid and it's just crossed back in and it's available to respond to calls. Sometimes you might give a radio acknowledgement through dispatch to say, hey, we're in district available. But this would let you as a commander, an incident commander or as an officer, when that apparatus might be back in district as well. Sure. And what sets ClearSky installation apart from other systems? So ClearSky is actually, the, the hardware itself is installed with the command zone system. So we're putting the hardware itself in every command zone equipped truck, every multiplex truck. It's called a telematics control unit. It's typically in the officer side dash. And on that, we have software that's reading the data off of the command zone system. It's pulling that data at certain intervals and it's sending it through the 4G LTE cellular network through Oshkosh's servers to the website that again, you can access really anywhere. We're working on, you know, basically down to the second resolution. We're testing it on some trucks right now and it's really, really, really powerful system that's going to be able to enhance troubleshooting. So when there is a fault that occurs on the truck, a user will be able to go back and see exactly what the truck was doing. Of those 100 data points, see exactly what the temperatures, what the pressures, what the position of certain systems were to really hone in on what the problem is. Looking down the line, you know, when you, when you get into things like incorporating artificial intelligence, looking to predictive maintenance, right? Predictive analytics, trying to anticipate a failure before it occurs. And that's really what that future system is going to be enabling for users of ClearSky. Yes. And timing and speed are just critical to the fire industry. Can you tell me about what ClearSky performance looks like? Yep. So right now it, it updates about between every 10 to 30 minutes on the truck. So the truck has to be on for that amount of time to push a data update to the back office website. With that, you can see aggregated mileage, you can see hours, you can see, depending upon how the truck's configured, you can see how much water was pumped, what the water level is, what the foam level is. And it really comes down to that truck configuration, which is important to work with the dealer, depending upon if you want to see specific data from the truck, there's certain options you kind of need to consider in the build. But with that, you can plan out maintenance, you can see what happened at a specific incident, so how, how many gallons you pumped out of fire. You can see any faults that occurred while the truck was going down the road or while it was at an incident. The future system is going to be able to do that in real time. We can generate things like overspeed alerts. We can generate real time alerts for low def fluid, low fuel, really anything on the truck. And then taking those faults and connecting the user to those immediately when they happen so they can mitigate a potential disaster. Yes, anything to mitigate. And this data is taken by leadership to take action. So could you tell me how does the data promote the decision making for those leaders? Yeah, it's a good question. I think being able to see how much certain systems are used on the truck as they're installed. So for example, if you have a ladder company that's positioned at a certain station, maybe they're in a more residential area that they may not be using the ladder as much down the line with the usage data from ClearSky, you can make a decision whether or not you wanted to move that apparatus to a different station. Maybe you're looking at a future purchase. Maybe you don't need an aerial device in that station. Maybe you need a pumper. Just something to consider there. And I think some of the ancillary systems that are put on the trucks as well, things like idle reduction technology. I know some of the departments that we worked with that have the Clear Sky system have went back and looked. And once they see how much idle time there is on the truck and when that IRT system kicks in, it really kind of helps validate the decision to put those systems on trucks, for example. So, um, and looking across the fleet, different engine types, different aerial types. Again, you can kind of see what's getting used and how it's performing over the course of time to inform decisions on your next purchase. So. Sure. And when you look at fleet standardization or maybe implementing a new design in your fleet, it shows the criticality of having that knowledge of what parts are so integral to our continuous responses. What are we using all the time and what are we not using all the time? Right. Maybe what resource is going to benefit us more right. here as opposed to over here? Right. Absolutely. Well, and, and you can look at from what you get through uh, your standard reporting, right? You can see how many calls and apparatus is going on, but really looking at how many miles each you're putting on associated with those calls, how many hours the pump's getting used, uh, how many hours the aerial's getting used, how many time the aerial's been out of its cradle. You can start to see not only what those work cycles are, but anticipating maintenance, right? So anticipating maintenance budgets, you can start to kind of build that in. If this truck's getting used more and more and more, it's not an unconditioned thing where it just happens and then you got to deal with it. You can see that it's coming, right? You can see 
those hours building up and when that service interval is going to come due. So you can plan around that too, when the truck's actually going to need to be out of service for the maintenance, Mm -hmm. as opposed to, again, something just occurring and then you got to deal with it on condition. Right. And how does that hold fleet commanders accountable? How does the system support that? Well, I think it empowers them with data. I mean, right now, data is acquired through manual, get in the truck, start it up, right, pull the data off. And sometimes there's some nuance with that. So I think being able to have that data reporting directly from the truck, it it just kind of backs up that process as well as allowing you to see it in one space as opposed to checking across multiple systems. The value of ClearSky, I think, in the future will be more when we connect ClearSky and all of the data that it aggregates to some of those other systems. So to records management systems, to fleet management systems, right, to help generate work orders. And and that's kind of where our head is going with that. That's really where the value comes in. But independently today, all of that data is in there. It is your truck performance kind of data hub, if you will, right? And again, it is a Pierce product. It's supported by a team of Pierce employees that are software engineers, electrical engineers that are constantly focused on how much data can we harvest from the truck and how can we make it useful to the fire service? Not just to put data out there, just to have data, but what's really meaningful and how is it going to get used? Absolutely. And can you tell me how Clear Sky Intelligence supports response readiness? Because I want an apparatus that's ready to run when the calls come in. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, talking about faults. Sometimes in a truck, perhaps a fault occurs, it flashes on the screen and it goes away. It pops up right as you're tr- shutting the truck down and the engineer didn't see it, right? Clear Sky will log all of those faults so you can actually see them and you can receive those notifications regardless of when they happen and if they're seen. You can go in and see when they occur, date and time. It gives you a plain English description of what the faults were. So I think in addition to that, looking at the fuel level, the def level, the soot load, looking at proximity to PMs as you build out maintenance based upon the usage of the apparatus, that's when you're going to be able to anticipate when downtime is required to service the apparatus or if something else you know, in the apparatus has a symptom of a larger issue that needs to be addressed that could take it out of service. And how does ClearSky assist fire departments in pre-planning beyond the incident? So I think it's, it's really getting into looking at what the status of the apparatus are across the fleet, right? Apparatus in, in some areas, in some municipalities, they, they might not be used for a matter of days. Other municipalities, they're going call to call to call to call constantly. And they could be going from a med call to a working structure fire that may escalate in alarms and the truck may be on scene for several hours. So with that, being able to look at things like the soot load, the def level, the fuel level, you might need to get those resources to the scene. Um, Down the line, one of the capabilities of the next generation of ClearSky is being able to provide an alert that tells you how many staff are actually in the apparatus. So when you look at combination of volunteer departments, there's a lot of applications and systems that are used where people can click in. They're assigned to a truck or they might not be assigned to a truck, but they can click in and say which truck they're responding in. This will actually tell an incident commander before they get to the scene, you know, truck one has a crew of three, engine two has a crew of two. So you'll be able to start planning out that incident action plan and all the tasks that need to be accomplished based upon the first arriving truck, how close it is, how much water it's got. If it's low on fuel, the next arriving truck, you'll be able to kind of build that out with some enhanced visibility to the status of those trucks before they even get there. And I think that's where on the other side of the uptime look at Clear Sky is really operational planning and intelligence, right? So being able to see what the fleet's doing and anticipating how that incident action plan needs to be executed. Absolutely. And it really sounds like it's taking that response to the next level. And can you tell me about how Clear Sky supports protecting life and property? I think it's just making sure that that apparatus is up and available. It's ready to respond. The systems are healthy. The aerial can be used. The suppression system can be used. There's not a driveline fault that's going to prevent it from responding before the crew knows. That's really how it's in place, or that's why it's in place. In addition to just giving you as high a resolution as possible as to the health of the truck, making sure that the crew gets there safely, making sure that while they're on scene, it's operating effectively to keep them safe when they may be inside of a burning building or the truck's functioning to block at a nighttime incident on a roadway, right? It's not going to shut down. That's really 
where I think it, it really enhances protecting life and property is it gives you that visibility to ensure that all has been done to try to make sure that the apparatus is functioning the way it should. And then, like I say, it's something that in the past we just didn't have access to, but with software and some new hardware, we can unleash a tremendous amount of capabilities. And really the current version of Clear Sky is, we call it 1.0. It's the first generation. It's got some capabilities, but really where we're going with this is much more exciting. And it's going to unlock a lot of other possibilities to support the mission of preserving life and property for the fire service. And that's really where our head's focused. So. So, as a firefighter, could you tell me what does a value Clear Sky Intelligence would bring to you? I think just having a much more deeper look at the truck itself that I'm operating. Um, my department does have several Pierce apparatus, and I think being able to just see how the truck's performing, not waiting to get in the truck and fire it up and see that there's a fault or see that there's an issue and try to chase and figure out what's going on or needing to text or call the mechanic from a scene or the side of the road and say, hey, what's going on? I can get that information from anywhere now. I can log into it when I'm at home before I even get on duty and see how the truck's performing. I can see where they're going. I can see possibly where they've been going to, how the truck's been operating over the course of that until I get in for my shift. And some things that I might need to know, perhaps part, some systems might be out of service. That's something I could find out before I even get to the station. Uh, but again, I think as a capital asset that the community and the fire department invest in, just firefighters take a lot of pride in their trucks and fire apparatus, just like Pierce does. And I think that this is just one more way to take pride in keeping that truck in service and keeping it in tip top shape, ready to respond by just maintaining surveillance on its performance. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of the Pierce Dispatch. I want to thank Chris Medlock for coming on and sharing all about Clear Sky Intelligence. Thank and for all of our listeners, please don't forget to reach out to Chris for your Clear Sky demo. Thank you. 